So, you wanna do hood rat stuff with your friends, but you're scared because you don't wanna embarrass yourself. Hey guys, Revival GT here, and I'm gonna show you step by step how to properly roll race. So, remember, only do this in Mexico, and your decisions are your own, and I'm not responsible for anything that you do with what I'm about to tell you. So, this is gonna be more geared to people who are new to racing. Um, you know, I recommend if you're gonna start out do it with rolls because it's it's a lot easier on your car it's a lot easier on your drive line your axles your drive shaft you know half shaft whatever you got going on uh it puts a lot less stress on those parts so um very first thing that you need to do is ensure your safety so by safety i mean making your car easier to control in the way of like you know of traction so if you don't have traction you're gonna have a really bad time this is gonna sound super counterproductive but trust me on this you want to turn all of your traction control all of the way off okay if you do that it will give you full control of the car and you know those those mustang fail videos a lot of those guys probably had their traction or stability control on so you know if you feel your car breaking loose let out of the throttle and let the car recenter itself if you've tried just nailing it on the highway and your tires are spinning um you're going to want to drop your tire pressure some so you want to let out the least amount of air possible and still have traction so for example say say you run your tires at 35 pounds um, you're gonna want like take it down to like 28 and see what that does for you uh, keep in mind I'm talking about like street tires I'm not talking about drag slicks or radials um, typically you'd be running a much lower pressure than that with a drag setup but um, it'll take some trial and error but when you find it you're gonna maximize your chance of winning and remember spinning ain't winning and winning is fun so now that you have found your correct tire pressure and your traction control is disabled you're ready to race so Next, you wanna find out the correct gear for you to start out in. Uh, this is probably the single biggest factor in trying to get a solid roll in. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to be in the lowest gear possible while still having a little room for your RPMs to move up. So for example, like my car redlines at 7,800 RPMs. Um, I don't wanna take off at like 7,400 because it's, it's not gonna be very productive. Um, even more so if you have a manual right so because you know you're gonna take off and then immediately have to shift and you're, you're just slowing yourself down so say you're doing a 40 roll um you know my car i have a 10 speed and 315 gears and that's perfect for starting out in second gear doing a 40. so uh it starts out around like 6,000 rpms which is still high but it has room to climb so you know if you're but if you're in an auto it's best to put it in manual mode just to hold the gear that you're in and then once you punch it shift it back into drive so don't use your paddle shifters uh you know or the buttons on your shifter you're gonna mess up your timing and i promise you your car knows better when to shift <laughs> than you do so at the start of the race whether you're doing like three honks or you're screaming out the window you know one two three you know don't wait until three now i'm not telling you to cheat or to like try to jump but i'm saying start right like start right when they start to say three you know, it's like one, two, two, go, right? Like right at the, the beginning of that three or, you know, the start of the third honk. Otherwise you are gonna get dragged because that's when they're gonna take off. Um, once you get going, uh, you know, be super extra careful of any cars that might be around you. Uh, you know, in an ideal situation, it's just you and the person that you're racing, but sometimes, you know, it, it just doesn't work out like that. Um, if someone crosses into your lane, slow the hell down or go around if it's safe. Uh, you don't want to hurt anybody or yourself and your beloved ship box. So try to have a max speed set that you'll go to and slow down once you've reached it. And if you get there first and you're in front of the other person, congratulations, you just gapped somebody. So what I'm gonna do now is show you exactly, now this is a 18, 10 speed car, 315 gears. Um, I'm gonna show you the exact thing or way that you need to do this. Um, I personally, I changed my mode. I like Sport Plus. That is my favorite for this. So I put it in Sport Plus. Now I got my trash control. I'm gonna press and hold that, you know, six or seven seconds or so. Boom, advanced track off. That's my traction and stability control off. So now 
Let me show you exactly what, how you would do it in one of these. Drop it into the S, which puts it in manual mode, pat, hit my paddle, and now I'm controlling the gears. There it is, second gear. So it'd be one, two, three. Take it easy.